Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is enjoying the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Beta. I am loving it at the moment. But in today's video I want to answer, uh, answer another very, very popular question which has been brought to my attention. Obviously, before I do bring any insane Call of Duty Cold War content, I do have a lot of it stored up, ready to go. I want to answer a few of the common questions that you guys might be wondering. Obviously, Xbox and PT don't have access to the beta right now. And there's probably a lot of things they want to know before they get their hands on it. And obviously, people who play on the PS4 probably still have a lot of questions they want to know as well. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video... Is skill-based matchmaking inside of the Cold War beta? It was very, very dominant, very, very, you know, you knew it was there in the alpha, obviously. There was no escaping it unless you was a reverse boosting person, which obviously I, I, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it, personally, to be honest. I don't agree with uh, reverse boosting whatsoever. Fair enough, if you're having a bad time, you want to, you know, get some kills on some bots, you want to, you know, have a good game, get a new, get a load of streaks in them. Fair enough, you know, do what you need to do to enjoy the game. All I'm bothered about is people enjoying the game. And this is my issue with skill-based matchmaking, okay? Skill-based matchmaking is 100% in the beta. Whether it's as strong as the alpha, I don't know. I max just hit max rank on the beta myself, so I've played a fair amount of the game. And I'll be honest, I am struggling here to get a good gameplay. The gameplay you're watching is a Moscow domination. You know, the standard stuff, what you're going to get in the mosh pit game mode. I like Moscow. Not my favourite map in the game, by all means. But definitely not a, a bad map at all. Uh, I've not had a good game on this game. On this on the whole beta as it is. I have a decent half, some, well, some decent gameplays to bring to you guys. Some best class ups and all that kind of stuff. But none of my good games happen unless it's on satellite. And I don't know why this is. Every single game I go into is like a CDL game mode. Uh, I did put a tweet on today. Uh, really enjoyed playing Cold War on Championship Sunday. Because that's how this game feels to me. Everybody is jump shooting. Everybody's sliding and predicting every movement I make. And obviously I can do the same for them. But it's super, super competitive. Every lobby is a sweat fest right now. And fair enough, I would have fully understood that the first two days of the beta, which is the early access, you know, the you know the players who play day in, day out are the ones who are pre-ordering the game. Let's be serious here. The majority of players who pre-order the game are people who play the game a lot. They can't wait to get their hands on it, and that's why they pre-ordered the game. Even if they just want the early access like me, you know, I, I play the game every single day without fail, more or less. So I wanted to pre-order the game, I wanted to get straight on it as soon as I could. I'm a sweaty player, just like everyone in my lobbies. So I thought, once the uh, early access is over and it's the open beta, we're going to have a lot more casual players coming on. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more chill, you know, it's going to be, you know, I don't have to sweat every single game like I was in the first two days. And that's why I didn't bring a video to you guys in the first two days of the early access. The simple fact is I was getting bodied. I was getting bodied. The first game on I had, I absolutely destroyed. I had the sickest first game I've ever had on like any Call of Duty game. I went on the satellite. I was like 45 and 10 uh, with the Krig AR. It was such a good game. I was like, oh my days. Finally, the, the bait is back. I'm, I'm, I'm frying. I'm going to have a, such a good time here. The content's going to be booming. Uh, I was terribly wrong. Terribly, terribly wrong. After them two games, so the first game I think I ranked up like four or five times. I had created class. I went and put the XM4 on. Uh, and if you guys did tune into my live stream earlier today, you will know exactly what's up. Uh, the XM4 for me was meant to be one of the best guns in the beta. I've seen people raving about it on Twitter like, oh my god, this gun is insane. Damn, oh my, oh my life. I've never, ever experienced a gun so bad. I, I thought the XM4 was meant to be good. But no, I don't think the XM4 is a bad gun. I think it's the lobbies I'm getting into. People are just too good at the game. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying I'm a shit player or anything because I'm not. But I'm struggling to get a good gameplay, guys. Skill-based matchmaking in this game is, uh, you know, definitely, definitely there. It's very, very difficult to compete with the people I'm playing with right now. You know, uh, if anything, I'm coming up against people who are genuinely better than me at this game. And I'm not just making stupid mistakes. It's not me trying to get used to the game still. Like I said, I'm max ranking the beta. I've played enough games now. I'm, I'm pretty used to the game. I've tried out many guns. The Milano SMG for me is, is, is honestly so good in this game. Try out the Milano SMG when you get your hands on the beta. If you're already playing the beta on PS4, then try out the Milano SMG. Honestly, it's a amazing gun. Honestly, I love it so much. But as you can see here, I'm second in the leaderboard here. I'm second in the leaderboard, bear this in mind. And I'm 15 to 16. I am negative. Okay, I'm negative and I'm this high on the leaderboard. Should that be a normal thing? I don't know. Am I just on a really bad team right now? No, every single game seems to be going for this. I've had, I, I'm not even playing that much OBJ. I'm not even playing the objective that much. And I'm second place on the scoreboard for my team. And I'm negative. I'm negative, okay? And I don't want to come on here and moan. But I'm I'm not a bad player. 
I don't usually have a lot of games like this. If I have a game, I, I could. I obviously I have a bad game. I have a couple of bad games like everybody else does. But no, every single game is going for me like this right, right now. I'm still managing to get a lot of kills, but I'm still getting an extremely amount of like a huge amount of deaths. And fair enough, that was my fault there. Watching this gameplay back right now, completely missed that guy. I've been trying to figure things out. Like maybe I'm just trying to get used to the movement a little bit more. I've changed the FOV to the maximum FOV. I've never played on this before. Maybe it's that. Maybe I just need to alter myself to the FOV. But no, man, I'm used to all this now. I've played hours of the on the beta now. And I'm still struggling my arse off to string anything together. I think I've had maybe five attack helicopters. I've not altered my streaks whatsoever, which maybe I should do. But I'm 17 and 20 right now, so I'm getting the kills. But I'm dying every single life. If you watch the gameplay, more or less, I'm getting traded out. It's like there's comms on or something. Everybody is on top form. I, I, I struggle to get a double kill, okay? I get a kill and there's always somebody else close by who snaps straight onto me. Like, I don't know they're there and they know I'm there, obviously, because I'm shooting on the radar. It's crazy. The skill based matchmaking is so high. It's like I'm literally playing a C in a CDL playlist. That is how I'm classing this. Obviously, I would ex if I was playing in a CDL playlist and I got a score like this, I'd be like, fair enough. Bad game, but, you know, I was against some good players this game, you know? But no, every single game's like this. Uh... It's kind of crazy. I did actually compensate reverse boosting, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to drop myself that low. Uh, I'm not uh, not wanting to do that whatsoever. So if you guys are wondering, is skill-based matchmaking in Cold War, should I reverse boost in Cold War, then maybe the answer is yes to both of those for you. Obviously, I'm not going to be reverse boosting, but if you guys do struggle and you want to reverse boost, then, I mean, be my guest. Do what you want to do. Because this game is tough, the skill based matchmaking is on, it's just high. And I see people saying they're frying on Cold War, like, man, I don't know how you're frying. Because uh, I'm struggling here, I'm struggling. I mean, you saw that little, like, tr tr I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm that kid there, the a the kid whose name's A17, he is, he's on top of me, he's beating me every single gunfight. I seem to be getting pre aimed constantly. People know where I am. I mean, you get players like this who are just genuinely bad. Obviously, every single lobby just doesn't have all pro players in it. Or so it seems to be. But, like, I don't know if it's me or not. Watching that back, I completely missed that kid was there. I didn't even see him straight away. Um, But, no, I mean, it's tough, man. It's super tough. I'm struggling like hell. You know, maybe I think it's because I don't know the maps very well. But, I mean, how did I die that quickly to that kid? I remember getting that death and I was like, what is going on? Even when I was streaming, I was talking about this. And I had a load of good games streaming, to be fair. I had a load of them, uh, which was nice. But at the start of the stream, if you guys did tune in, you'll know. For the first hour of the stream, it was tough, man. It was definitely tough, and I had a really, really bad game. A really bad game, to be honest. I, I, I got bodied, to say the least. I had the shittiest game I've had on the Bayer. Uh, and the next game after that, I it was like I was playing bots. It was The skill-based matchmaking is that precise, like that much on. Because you've not played the game for that long period of time, uh, obviously, you know, you're only level 25 by this point. It doesn't take many hours to get to level 25, let's be real. But for a beta, it is like maybe like 10 hours, for instance. But 10 hours of gameplay time is nothing. So the game manipulates you. It's manipulated that easy into reverse boosting. Uh, you can sort of do it by accident, by having a really bad game. And the next game, you'll be up against a whole different skill level, which is that crazy. So if you are planning on reverse boosting, I don't think it's going to take much at all, to be honest. Uh... If they, like I say, if that's something you want to do, it's crazy. Uh, so, but then again, if you have a good game, when you're reverse boosting, like one good game, then it could mess it up if it's not for you again. You're going to have to reverse boost again. So, that's how crazy the skill-based matchmaking is for me. I don't know if you guys have experienced anything similar. Let me know down in the comments below. This game is about to come to an end. Should you reverse boost in Cold War? Answer is going to be yes. Not for me, but if you want to... You're going to have to, man. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys find it kind of inform informative. If you guys were wondering, is skill-based matchmaking in this game? The answer is yes. So without further ado, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you guys are new around here and you want to see more daily Call of Duty content, we're going to be grinding out the uh, beta some more this weekend. And next weekend, uh, going to be some insane content coming. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Smash that subscribe button, guys. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Come and hit 10 likes in this video. Very, very low goal, but I know we can smash 10 likes easily. Come on, guys. But anyway, apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.